Welcome to Five Truth Singles. This story is from Joseph Scrimshaw and was recorded August 31st, 2013 at DragonCon in Atlanta. The theme was, There Goes My Hero. Pop culture pros tell real life stories of good and evil. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. So, uh, when I was in second grade, I was actually going to a Catholic grade school and this was uh, really difficult for me and really terrifying uh, for several different reasons. Uh, first of all, I was very, very frightened of nuns, and there were a lot of nuns at the Catholic grade school. Like, my fear level would be, like, I would kind of think, like, I I'm afraid of sharks in the water, and then maybe clowns in a cornfield, <laughs> and then nuns anywhere doing anything. So that was very terrifying. It was also uh, scary because I wasn't particularly good at being a Catholic. I tried, but I just didn't understand. There was a class where a nun was trying to explain to us that Jesus is kind of God's son, but he is also God. So she asked if anyone understand, uh, understood that, and uh, being a young nerd, you know, I raised my hand and, and asked, is it a time travel thing? <laughs> Did Jesus actually travel back in time and become his own father? Is that... And, and, and the nun just looked at me like I was insane. Like I was speaking in tongues. And that's not a popular thing at Catholic schools. The other thing that was terrifying about the Catholic grade school is that it was also just a school, which meant I had to do things like during recess, uh, go and play kickball with the other kids. And as bad as I was at being Catholic, I was like a million times worse at sports. I normally didn't make any contact with a kickball, but the few times that I did manage to actually kick it, I would send it flying the completely wrong direction so it would go very far away and all the other kids would sigh in unison. Ugh. And they would have to go and run and chase and bring it back. And one of the times that this happened, uh, one of the bullies at school, his name was Chad Trumbull, uh, he decided that it was time that I got some coaching. And the coaching that he offered was uh, pushing me to the ground and screaming at me and then bouncing the kickball off my head. And even when the kickball was bounced off my head, it still flew in the wrong direction. <laughs> so I felt at least good about that. But I realized like, okay, I, I, need, uh, I should try to respond. And I knew that it was, it was bad to respond with violence, so I decided I will, I'll try to use my words. Um, and I, I ended up swearing at him, and uh, specifically what I said is, knock it off, you stupid goddamn wad face. <laughs> Clearly I was also not good at swearing. <laughs> Started out strong, stupid's just classic. Goddamn is very potent at a Catholic grade school, <laughs> but then wad face. <laughs> to this day I have no idea what a wad face is or why it would be bad to be one. But the second that I said it, a nun just appeared. Like, <laughs> like out of nowhere, like a ninja. Like, like, I know this isn't how it happened, but when I think about it, I imagine that like a cloud of bats flapped in and then just <laughs> formed into a nun. And it was not just any nun, it was like the head nun, the main nun, the principal of the school. Her name was Sister Janet and she was very, very old, but it was hard to tell because she didn't actually have many lines on her face, and I believe it was because she had never smiled in her entire life. <laughs> and without saying anything, she grabbed me by the arm with just like incredible nun strength and just started dragging me away. And I remember thinking as I was being dragged away, well, it's been a good life. <laughs> because I'm going to hell right now. Like, I think she probably has like a trap door in her office. I'm going to hell right now. But she didn't actually, she didn't take me back to the office. Uh, she took me to this uh, big church that was right next door to the, the school and she sat me down in the back pew and she sat down next to me and she said, I, I understand that you called Chad some bad words. What did you say? And I, said, I, I called him a, a stupid goddamn wad face. <laughs> And she, she was very clear on what goddamn meant. But she said, what, what, what's a wad face? And I said, I, I don't know. And she thought for a moment and she said, 
You need to know that God does not approve of swearing, period. And God does not approve of violence, usually. <laughs> God knows that you are a sensitive, special boy, Joseph. <laughs> and I'll check with God, I'll check with God, but I think that he would understand if Chad starts to bully you again during kickball, I think God would understand if you kicked anything that you had to. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I think that a nun just told me I had God's permission <laughs> to kick Chad in the balls. <laughs> so I, I nodded and she nodded and she brought me back to school and, uh, and I you know, thought about this and a, a couple days later we were, we were playing kickball and sure enough I sent the ball flying away and Chad came marching up to me and it was, fists were like locked and he was coming at me and I, I just, I had that moment of like, of, of indecision and of, of doubt and I decided to take a leap of faith. <laughs> By kicking Chad in the balls as hard as I possibly fucking could. And I connected and he screamed in pain and he buckled and I thought, this is going well. <laughs> I'm going to continue. So when he was bent over from being kicked in the balls, I drove my elbow into the small of his back as hard as I could. And he screamed again and entirely fell over. And I, I saw Sister Janet coming at me at that point, and she again grabbed me by the arm. I was like, what? Come on! It was like fucking entrapment. I didn't even know the word entrapment. But in retrospect, I know it was entrapment. And I thought she would take me back to her office with the trapdoor to hell, but she didn't. She took me back uh, to the church again and in, into the back pew, and uh, she sat me down, and then she sat down next to me, and I was like, uh, I, I started tearing up a little bit. It's like, uh, I, I, thought, I thought that you, you told me that, that I should, and she told me to be quiet. And then she just said, the elbow was unnecessary. <laughs> She closed her eyes and she folded her hands in prayer and she didn't say anything else and we just stood there for a little while and sat there and then she, uh, she took me back to school and uh, that was it. And uh, about a year or so later, I actually moved away from the Catholic grade school and I went to a public school uh, where it was very important that I had confidence that it was okay to stand up for myself. Uh, and so I would just like to, to thank my personal hero, that scary ass motherfucking nun, <laughs> Sister Janet. Thank you very much. Guess what? The story that you just heard was a lie.